Okay. Hello. Go ahead. Um, figure out his hockey. To ask some like random questions. Um, like, uh, who's your favorite doctor? Patrick Trout. Um, which, which doctor is that? Uh, the second. Oh, right. <laughs> Get a little closer there. <laughs> um, say, uh, like, like best, best and least favorite doctor in one. Don't have a least favorite? No, I love them all. Oh. I mean, Patrick Trout, the reason I say he's my favorite one is because. Um, He's the one, you know, I, I do remember William Hart was the first one, but yeah. I was really old enough to sit up and take notice of the actual travel was the top I think they've all got those yeah. pretty things about You know, I kind of started watching the show around um, the night with Doctor. Yeah. No. Just for us. Mm -hmm. He was brilliant. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I thought he was kind of my thing. Yeah. You know, when you kind of like kick the water and you know, but just enjoy the moment. Uh -huh. Yeah. I would know what I would for a blank to say. Get him to sign. Hey, uh, thank you for talking. <laughs> wow. have, have a nice day. You are welcome. <laughs> Can you say extremity, Aaron? There. It's okay, already. Let's see how it all goes. Okay, we're going to actually sprout. So here's uh, some cards we're going to give to you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. I'll give you. Should I? Go ahead. Just, just play uh, the yeah, Okay. So the object of the game is to connect your cards together with the matching numbers in such a way so that. The first card is going to point north, the second card that you lay down is going to point east, the third card is going to point south, the fourth one is going to point west, and you're going to create your own personal vortex. Okay? North, east, south, west. Yes, north, east, south, west, north, east, south, seven cards. Right? So you create a rack. What you do is you create a personal rack, and you actually have them pointing north just to get yourself oriented at first. And then any of these cards can be a seed card. So let's say this becomes your seed card, and that's the first one pointing north. Mm -hmm. Then what you do is you shift all of your rack cards east to visualize your next attachment. Okay? okay. And I'm going to just make things easier for you. I'm going to give you this card instead of that card. Okay? Okay. All right. So then try to make an attachment. Um, like if this had a, a match of four and, uh -huh. and four, then you'd be able to make an attachment there. If these match, you'd be able to match it. So you can attach anywhere on the board with any new card, but that new card has to be pointing east. Okay? okay. okay. Good luck to you. Is north, uh, Very good. Keep going. Now you're going to point everything west. So you're, you're going clockwise around the compass. But also, you can catch this and it can give you more points. See, each attachment gives you a number of points. Mm -hmm. So this is eight points, this is eight points, this is seven points. So you can choose strategically which way you want to go on that. Mm -hmm. So point everything south or north? North again, that's mm -hmm. correct. Can you do the nine nine up there with going that way? The you, nine you, to get a. You can do that as well. You could do this. Yeah. It's up to you. A nine on one side, nine on the other. Mm -hmm. I can use two, two at 
No. Oh, okay. Can I stop recording? Uh, yeah, let me finish the scene. Okay. Well, Debbie's waiting on us, okay? Okay. So you had to tear down that board? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yes, they have to attach on both sides, right. And that would be called a double attachment, and then you'd also get double the score of the face value during those double attachments. Oh, yeah. You might have to tear down this board. Now, sometimes it's like the stone that was rejected becomes the cornerstone. Sometimes one of the cards that are left in your rack ought to be the seed card, and that'll actually act as a catalyst for you. So you can keep trying again, or you can. Nah, I think I I think you're done. Okay. <laughs> All right, My sister's waiting right? on us. <laughs> thank, thank you. Thank you very much for playing. Uh -huh. uh, we're <clears throat> okay. Hello, everyone. Today, uh, right now, I'm here to show you all the cool stuff that I got when I was at Gen Con. First I got this uh, neat little Doctor Who bag. I just thought that was kind of neat. And then there's um, this uh, little uh, book, program book. It's like another little memento. There's all sorts of programs and stuff. Um, Got some uh, other stuff. Um, uh, the fairy tale and anime. Uh, traditional themes, images, and symbols at play on screen by a uh, Danny Caballaro. I think that's how it's pronounced. <coughs> a doc another a Doctor Who book. Um, Starships and space stations. There's pretty cool here. And there's uh, some RPG stuff. Alright, there's uh, this another catalog thing of different stuff that was on sale. Yeah, like I said, a different RPG stuff. Um, the Mutant Chronicles, War Zone, Casualties of War. Uh, Babylon 5, the final flight of Santiago. And, um, and then there's this, this little role-playing dungeon master game master thing is, uh, see that yeah and uh, there's this this really cool thing here yeah I think it looks cool Babylon 5 is awesome by the way and lastly is um is uh, this uh, board card game thing he called the Eris Project? It looks like a really interesting, fun game. It's about like these four groups of armies that I that can um, 
go out and try and take over Mars. There's the Terrans, which are, of course, Earths. <clears throat> There's uh, Cahome, an ancient, like, religion cult type people. Colossus, which are this, this team of engineers that build a giant robot. And finally, the Xenos were the original inhabitants of the planet Mars. And you can go out and you can finally kill all those dreaded humans. I mean, um, I'm not an evil alien spy that wants to take over the world. <laughs> anyway, um, it looks like a really fun game. I'm totally going to be playing it the first chance I get. Yeah. Anyway, uh... Oh, and also while I was at Gen Con, I also got uh, footage of a uh, cosplay parade type thing. Uh, look at it right now. No boxes, like, really? That's Work. Power.
Swab the deck! Try to keep it single file. As long as you can. Stop it at the person in front of you. Do not stop the food Oh, my God. 